Sometimes you can have something left on the board that causes issues. For example, a piece of leftover solder, uh, or sometimes even specific types of flux can be conductive enough to uh, cause problems. So if you're still having problems, let's clean off the board. Now, I just wanna set some expectations. This is not commonly where you're gonna find issues. It's a, it's a good practice to clean off your board. It looks better. Uh, you're gonna reduce the variables uh, for troubleshooting, but this is not usually where we find the, um, the issues. But let's go ahead and do it. So what you're gonna need is first just a flathead screwdriver, and we're also gonna need some very high content isopropyl alcohol. I've got 99% here, but 90% uh, or higher will work fine. And then some sort of cloth. I recommend uh, a microfiber cloth that's not gonna leave lint on the board. So that's what I've got here. Um, so what we're gonna do with the screwdriver is look for bits of solder. Sometimes solder will kind of fly off while you're working and land somewhere on the board. And then it can cause issues. So what we're gonna do is you can just scrape that solder off very lightly with this uh, screwdriver here. So anywhere that you see stray solder where it shouldn't be, um, you can really easily just scrape it off like that. Okay, so I've gotten any solder off the board. Next, oh no, I missed a big piece. Next, we're gonna clean the board, and this is mostly about removing flux. Flux is the stuff that's inside your spool of solder, and it often sticks to the board after it's done its job of cleaning the surface. So, I am just gonna pour a little bit of isopropyl on my cloth, get it good and soaked, and then just scrub away. On these parts where there's a bunch of pins, my techniques is just kind of lay it there and then scrub it around. Just make sure you get the whole board. You know, you shouldn't need a lot of elbow grease for this. In fact, I wouldn't recommend doing anything to your board that requires a lot of strength. You don't want to break anything here. Just kind of going over it, scrubbing. And now where a lot of people get disappointed is they just do one pass. And once it dries, that first pass usually looks pretty cloudy. You know, there's some flux still left there, other contaminants, so it doesn't look as shiny and new as you think it should. So you really need to do three passes. That's our rule of thumb. Three passes before you get everything off of there. Voila, beautifully clean board. Like I said, this is not where you're likely to solve your issues, but it's a good practice, and every once in a while, it can be the thing that gets it working again.